Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. The challenge of doing that is that we're all facing a time of COVID and a time of a downturn in the economy. We're also facing a very good upturn in employment opportunities if you are able to survive on the retail wage. Retail is something that we have to start training our children who are not the most college bound to be willing to do. But at the same time, we have to be talking about that at home. We have to be educating our children about the fact that the retail worker is someone that we need to regard. At the same time, we have to be talking to their children about why we need retail workers. Because again, not everyone can afford college. But what you know outside of any good quality, small or large uh, metropolis, is that there's a bunch of retail opportunities around. Not only in the restauranting and food industry, but also in the clothing industry. Our challenge to the clothing industry is the type of employees that they hire. And I can say that from my experience of going to different establishments that are usually serving a multicultural background. Now why I say that is because the other day I attempted to purchase a ring for a present for either me or someone I knew that was coming to visit me. And when I tried to do that, what happened at the register was the black girl refused to allow me to carry that simple $12 ring to the register. And as a result, by the time I got to payment, the ring that I chose was not the one that was being given back to me after I paid my money. This is a standard practice of certain companies, not at all. This is a standard practice of certain brand companies, never at all. This is a practice of young people wanting to purchase something and failing to do so on their own time. It's also a practice of monkey business of female employees, both of India and the black community. And I hate to say it, but that's exactly how I experienced it. Now, what I think happened is that someone approached her and asked her to do something different for me. What I think happened is that her friend at the register didn't exactly know what I purchased and she made the switch as she was waiting to come across to allow me to pay for the ring. The minute that I saw that the ring was not correct, I asked for my money back because I actually held that ring in my hand, saw that it was a full solid silver ring, and that was the ring that I was sent there to buy, knowing that it was solid. But at the register, after my money was paid, what I found was it was a silver ring with stupid little girly rocks in it, plasticized rocks, cubic zirconia rocks, different colors. I'm sorry. But a man of my age and a man of my station is not planning to wear such a ring. 